Hello Year 7. Today your title is What Happened to Jesus After the Crucifixion? So by the end of this lesson you will be able to explain what happened following Jesus' death. Last lesson you looked at the last days of Jesus' life. You found out about how he died. The first thing I'd like you to do is on your whiteboard or your device or a piece of paper, write down three things that you can remember from last lesson about Jesus' death. Then write a sentence describing how you think Jesus' followers would have been feeling. If you wish to push yourself further, can you think about why Jesus' death is important for Christians today? In the Bible, there are a number of accounts of what happened after Jesus' death. I would like you to read the two accounts taken directly from the Bible and watch the two videos. On your whiteboard, device or paper, for each video, write down 10 words that come up to do with that video. Highlight or underline any words that you wrote down for both videos. Some of you may wish to do the master task and consider why is it that the Bible has more than one resurrection story. So by now you should have discovered that after Jesus' death, Christians believe that he was resurrected. That is the most important thing for Christians that he came back to life. And the next lesson, we will look at what this means for Christians today. So let's check what you know so far. Decide for each statement whether they are true or false. Those are the answers. I hope you got them all correct. This is your chance to show that you can really explain what happened after Jesus' death. I would like you to imagine either that you are Mary Magdalene who saw Jesus outside the tomb that Sunday morning, or one of the two men who were walking down the road to the town of Emmaus who met Jesus. Write a postcard to a friend describing what happened and explaining what you think it means. You can write using the word template on your device or write on your paper. Be detailed, be imaginative. What would it be like to meet somebody that had died only a few days before? What would it mean? So if you're going to do the master task, think about why is the resurrection important for Christians today? What does it tell Christians about Jesus, about God, and about life after death? So by now, Year 7, you should be able to explain what happened after Jesus' death. So now that you have written your postcard explaining what happened following Jesus' death, I would like you to read your postcard to somebody that you live with and ask them to give you a what went well comment and an even better if comment. Upload a picture of your postcard and the what went well and even better if comments to class charts. Thank you, Year 7.